Good day, this is Tata Trago Seva doing another viewer request. The question was, why does Palo work so fast? First and foremost, I, do, I just want to say that I do not claim to have the absolute truth. Also, I want to say that I can only go in so deep in Palo Mayombe before I start revealing its secrets. Palo Mayombe is not like Centuria where you can go on for a very long time before coming even near revealing any secrets. That's for the simple fact that Palo is a lot more vast than most people even can even imagine. Now, the first thing is you have to have a license to work with the spirits and you get that through the, uh, the scratching ceremony. That gives you the authority, what we call license to work with the Palo spirits. Now, if you're not scratched, I strongly advise against trying to work with the spirits of Palo. You can work with Egun's all you want. That's that's uh, that's not going to affect you. But if you're not scratched, you're trying to work, whether you find some sigils or whatnot, because there's a whole bunch of stuff online now that you can find, and you try to work with these spirits without being scratched, grave consequences. And a word of advice, a lot of these sigils, a lot of this information that you find online or in books, they're not even accurate at all. They're just gimmicks. They're trying to sell Prada and there's there's a demand, there's an interest, and that's all that that is. All right. The other thing is energies. Like from trees and plants, etc. In order to strengthen the spirits, in order to help them manifest the spirit to work. Now these items, I, I strongly advise that they be retrieved straight from Mother Nature. It's not the same thing if you order something online or you go to a botanica or whatnot. Because when you're trying to work with a specific energy, then you go into Mother Nature and I guarantee you, if you are in line with your spirits, they're going to lead you to that specific plant, branch, leaf, etc. Whatever it is that you're looking for, for whatever job you're doing, they're going to lead you to it. So it's best you go there, you do your offerings, whatnot, you retrieve the item, and it's a lot more effective to take that home fresh being the correct part of whatever it is you're looking for because your spirits pulled you to that and it's much easier for you to harness that energy needed. Another thing is the use of patipembas or spiritual sigils in order to give the spirits the proper instructions. Now, even dealing with this topic, there's so many things that should be learned in order to harness the power from the spiritual sigils, but unfortunately, those are secrets. So that's as far as I'm going to go on that topic. Another thing is the proper use of embedded or machete, machetes in order to cut energies or raise energies. Remember, the embedded or machete can be used to help you or hurt you. Another thing is the proper use of fula or gunpowder. It's extremely essential to manifest in spiritual works. A lot of people think is that you could just sprinkle that here and there, light it up, and no. There's the science behind that. But again, also, I, that's as far as I can go on that topic. I'm just letting you aware of certain things, but I can't actually teach you how to work with them unless... You know, it's a, it's a right passage. Now, another another um, difficult thing to do is the combinations of different Palo spirits working together in order to uh, achieve the desired results. Now, warning. You have to be properly trained in these energy exchanges because it's extremely dangerous. You know, these energy exchanges... If you do them wrong, it's like a bomb that can explode and you're in trouble. Now, are you starting to see why spiritual works in Palo Mayombe can be expensive? 
I mean, all the things that must be done and the precautions that you must take and, and whatnot, it's not easy. If it's done properly, I mean, if you're going to do it the right way, it's not easy. It's time consuming and it, 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 it's actually <clears throat> initially um, dangerous for the person doing it. Now, before I go on, please subscribe, like, and share. In order for YouTube's algorithm to show these videos to other people that are not aware about what we're trying to do here, but are in need of this information. Fortunately, you guys watching me are aware of this channel and you're benefiting from these videos, this information. I would like other people to have the same chance. Now, let's mention something that people consider taboo. Animal sacrifices in order to charge up the spirits needed in the spiritual works. It's a necessity. Not all works can be done without the blood sacrifice. A lot can, but there's certain certain works that you cannot. <clears throat> Unfortunately, you need them. It's a necessity. Now, another thing is, this is one of the most... Um, hardest things to do this actually takes years years to accomplish to be able to do this is the ability to open portals to other dimensions in order to harness the, the proper spirits and also energies needed to to ensure a guaranteed outcome again this is a topic in which you definitely need to know what you're doing because you don't want a powerful dark entity or entities coming through that portal. I mean, you only have X amount of time to do what you need to do. And it's paramount that you know how to close these portals behind you. Because if not, you, your family, everybody around you is in the world of hurt. I guarantee you that. I've seen it time and time again. I've seen energies that came in people's houses again trying to practice something that they don't know how to practice broken windows all kinds of stuff i mean i got a thousand one stories maybe one of these days i'll i'll do a, a video on it but for now i think for now this is way more information on this topic remember stay humble and be good to one another May Sambi bless you and yours, and salam alaikum.